Saturday, October 5th. Let me set you up here. So I actually meant to check in before I started cleaning my kitchen up. And I don't my kitchen now because I got so into my audiobook. I was listening to So Thirsty by Rachel Harrison and I was in the, like the last hour. So I put it in to like go take my dogs for a walk real quick and then I just kept listening and I was like, oh, I never stopped to start this vlog. But hi, I had such a wonderful last couple days and I'm feeling good. So I was like, okay, it's time to start a new vlog. We gotta get back writing. So here I am. On Thursday after work, I went for a four mile walk with my friend Rachel and that was lovely. It was a lot hotter than we expected it to be, but we played a little bit of Pokemon Go. I took my dog Sookie with me and it was just a lovely little walk. We got to catch up because she was away for the past week, so hadn't seen her. And then yesterday I had two cancellations at the end of my day. So I went home and me and Greg went on a bike ride, which was lovely. And then today I woke up and went hiking with some of my friends from book club and I'm just feeling very reju rejuvenated. Like I, I love being outdoors and this is like the perfect weather for a lot of hiking and outdoors activities where you're not like sweating and about to pass out. So I am still thriving thankfully in that regard. But it is about one o'clock right now and there's quite a lot that I still wanna get done <laughs> this weekend. So uh, first things first, I, I was supposed to have a, a video uploaded. My goal was uploading it by like Wednesday. It is now Saturday. The video is uploaded, but I have not posted it. I have not made a thumbnail yet. I don't, I just don't know what's wrong with me. I have to do all my timestamps. So I do need to get on that. And I would like to finish officially finish chapter 12 because I did it once already, but then I had my feedback that I still have it implemented. So I wanted to see how my own feedback changed things. And then the professional feedback that I received, I wanted to see if that changed anything more before I move on to the next chapter 13. So my goal right now is to first get my mind <laughs> clear, which means I just want to do a couple things like clean up wise in my house because I did a lot of outdoor activities, but because I did a lot of outdoor activities, I didn't really pick up anything. So I want to get a load of laundry in. I already broke down the boxes and I did all my dishes. So I need to just start the dishwasher. And then I want to put the basket of folded clothes away and then I'll shower. So I'm predicting if I focus, it's 12.55 right now. If I start this at one, I should only need an hour to do this cleanup because I already started half of it. Then I could shower at two and by 2.30, I can write a chapter. So right now that's the plan. Tomorrow, I also have a lot of plans. I am going to bike to my in-laws across town and we're gonna do crepes because some of the family on my in-law side are in from various locations. So because of that, I haven't seen them in a while. So we're gonna go do crepes in the morning. And then we are going to, me and my grandmother are going to a local cemetery tour where they do like reenactments. So local actors dress up and like tell stories and share information about the cemetery. It's one of like the largest cemeteries in the area. And there is a lot of history there. So we have lived in this area for a very long time and I had never known it existed until my writing club people <laughs> told me that they're actors and that they're, they do this. And I was like, oh my God, I gotta come. So I have a very, very eventful weekend. And that means very little time to write if I don't sit down and do it. So we are gonna get on it. I'm so excited. And I just finished the vampire book. So I really loved it. There was just a small, like there was some social commentary that I felt like it didn't go deep enough into it, which that was the only bit that I was a little bit sad about. But otherwise, like I really like the author. It's my first Rachel Harrison book. She's a Jersey girl, by the way. And oh my God, the references. I was so excited. I've This is the first time I've read a book from like a local-ish author. And they were talking about Wegmans, which is a local grocery store that we have. And they were up in the Finger Lakes on vacation. And then they were talking about Hot Dog Johnny's, which is one of my my husband's favorite restaurants. So that's like all these local areas that like I can get to within like two, two and a half hours. And I was like, oh my God, I've been to all these places. So yeah, that was really cool. And I think for that reason, I liked it a little bit more. And now I really wanna find a Rachel Harrison event that I can go to and maybe read a couple more of her books because she has quite a few of them out and it's definitely my type of horror that I also write. So I definitely, I don't know if it's a full comp to my own book, 
but I really liked her, like the, the subtle social horror. And also she had a really, and which I, it's not really a spoiler because it is pretty, like you could tell what the book is <laughs> just if you look at the cover and the name, but there's vampires in this book and they don't grow fangs. And that to me, that subtle detail about how they would get their blood then really painted a picture that I thought was gruesome itself. So I, yeah, it was just really good. So I would probably give it like a four, 4.5 star. I just really enjoyed it for my first book by her. And I'm also really excited to do some vampire work of my own now. So with that said, it's now 12.58. I am gonna go and do my cleanup. And I think I'm just gonna listen to music. Since I just finished this audiobook, I am gonna be starting my next on my TBR, which is my book club pick, 10,000 Doors of January. But I don't wanna start it immediately right now. I might start it later tonight because I just think I need a little buffer. So, music it is. Welcome to a vlog. It's been a month and I'm ready to go. vlog for you it's two seconds for me it's about a week it is monday october 14th and while i haven't checked in in the last few days mostly because i've been busy i have done a little bit of writing <laughs> so i'm here to do an update because today is actually writing club for me i will be going for around seven o'clock seven to nine doing my salt cave writing club which i'm really excited for but I wanted to check in because it's been a bit and I wanted to just say where I've been. So first of all, I wanted to get done with chapter 12 last weekend, but I will say I did not <laughs> estimate how long my weekend activities would be. So I went on the hike in the morning and that really made me feel creative and I did a little bit of writing after the hike which was wonderful and I got through chapter 11 which was my goal. I wanted to reread it and see like where I had been because I rewrote the chapter 12 a little bit but I also created chapter 11. So I reread chapter 11 which was nice. Then Sunday I went on the cemetery walking tour which was just like to learn about the locals who are buried in the cemetery and their history and just like the lives and the variety of people who are buried in that cemetery they basically said that there is an estimate of 28 to 33 thousand people buried there it is that big which i didn't actually know in this cemetery my grandparents have lived like two blocks from this cemetery for the majority of my life so the fact that i'm just learning about all this was kind of wild but while there was no technical like there was a couple mentions of like coal mining it wasn't like based on that it was still very fascinating to learn about those lives and everything and again just actually i didn't go there for the historical like research base of my novel but it still helped in the end and then i started to get through chapter 12 throughout the week and i really had wanted to be done with chapter 12 because this has been the bane of like i know things are changing i need to get through it but I finally bit the bullet and I did send myself a copy of the professional critique I received, which was for the like second half of the chapter. And I started going through that. And even though some of it didn't apply because I had already changed some things, there were some really good points that my Reads the Instructor had pointed out. Something like, you know, given the place of this in the novel and in the scene, are these thoughts like cohesive with the scene and that made me really think and like his kind of suggestion was they weren't which was great because where I need her to be in this part of the book is not in the the thoughts that I was putting in like I was kind of having her like pre acknowledging that she needs a change and that she needs to do these things even though the scene wise like she's more accepting and she's more like yeah like 
F this, like I'm gonna do whatever I want, like I'm gonna die anyway. So that was really good to point out, even though like in the context, like the sentence that he pointed out, I don't necessarily have that anymore in the new chapter I wrote. I will keep that in mind for the coming chapters to make sure that my scenes are still focused and cohesive and really honing in on the fact that like, like she's really pre-contemplative of change right now. So we need to get her into the like ready for change stage by the end of the novel. So anyway, I am on, almost done, I'm almost done with chapter 12. But right now it is 5.13 and dinner's not gonna be ready till closer to six. And that also means that like, I'm not gonna have a lot of time from like eating dinner to having to leave. So my goal is I would like to go into the cave tonight for writing club being on chapter 13 with my notes, with everything I wanna work on because it's been too long that I've been on chapter 12. So that's where we're at currently. I am just sitting down to do that right now. And we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and get some writing done. But I did just wanna say over this past weekend, I went to the Renaissance Fair for the last time of the season. It was the third to last weekend because I believe they end on the last weekend of October. So the season's almost over. And because it was the first night of their Halloween themed weekends, they do a special wine all the time, which basically is just like they have a fancy wine called like the hollow wine and they add some glitter to it. And I just have to show you guys. It's vampire themed. Look at this. So when I saw this and I knew that I was going to the fair, I was like, oh, this is my reward for finishing this draft finally. I have been slugging through this and dragging my feet and it also shimmers. I hope you guys can see this because it's so pretty in the light. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. So it's basically a glittery pink Catawba and I believe that theirs is a little bit sweeter than some because Catawbas can be sometimes drier, sometimes sweeter. I'm just really excited. I don't even care if I hate this. I just need to drink it because it's so pretty and it's literally perfect. So this is my reward now. I bought this with the intention that I'm finishing this novel by the end of this year and we will celebrate by drinking this wine. I have my reward in hand officially and that means we gotta get through this. I'm so sick of dragging my feet. I just wanna actually write. And it's been so rainy the last two days that it's perfect. So that's where the check-in is. I'm gonna go ahead and get this chapter done, get changed, eat dinner, and then we're heading to writing club. So let's go. Hi. So I haven't checked back in yet since I did writing on Monday. It's been it's been a week. I've had some personal anxiety over things, um, but oh my god, I'm getting like really emotional right now. So it's it's Wednesday, October sixteenth, and I am at work. It's eleven o'clock. I my client hasn't showed up, and I don't think they're showing up today. But I got the email for the query contest, and. I was really, as soon as I saw it, my like heart started going and I'm like, oh God, oh God, oh God. I'm like, it's okay either way. It's okay either way. You're going to get feedback either way. But yeah, so they, they listed everybody so that everyone's names are out there now. But I'm a semi-finalist. Like, holy shit. And they said in the email that they were very impressed that the competition was extremely fierce and that like it was really hard to narrow it down. So I did it, guys. Like I said, I mean, it's only it's only the first part. Then they're going to do, then they have to go down to 10. And then they do, you know, first, second, and grand prize. So, like, we still have time to go. But I, I wrote a good query letter, guys. Oh, my God. This is so exciting. <laughs> so, I really, I almost cried. I really did. I almost emailed. And I was like, well, I got to vlog this now and, and update before I get, like, too into work or too overwhelmed. But this is real. Oh, my gosh. So now we now I'm gonna have to wait. I got I got announced, um, but now the next announcement isn't until I think the thirtieth of October. <laughs> I can't believe it. I did so. Okay, so my intuition that my query letter was good is is right. Okay. 
<gasps> All right, I gotta go back to work, but I just needed to share that because that I that was some good news I really needed today, so. Yeah. You make me feel like I've come home. You've got a beautiful soul. If I'm feeling alone, I just remember your song. October 22nd. I'm finishing this vlog up this morning. It's pretty early. It is 7.30 and I, I repeat this in like every vlog, but it's my late day. So I'm finishing the vlog now and getting it uploaded. So let me update you on how the last two weeks have been. First and foremost, we'll do the vampire novel because that's why you guys are here, right? So chapter 13 is done. Uh, chapter 13 almost ended up being a complete rewrite, which I was not expecting. I didn't necessarily need to rewrite like the words, but a lot of what I did in that chapter, and I'm starting to realize that this might be the theme for the the coming chapters, is that I jumped the gun. Like I didn't really make my vampire charming. I didn't really make him like suspicious to the readers, but maybe not to the, the main character. And he had like no redeeming qualities. So like he was pretty nasty right from the get-go and again like i wanted i wanted him to be somewhat charming and endearing like there's a reason why she didn't want to leave you know so basically i had to re make a new chapter 13 where he's a little bit more like you know like you're not a prisoner here like you can leave but why don't you stay with me and i'll take care of you and i really like the chapter that i have now but as i i got through this and i ended chapter 13 i was like oh we got a lot of work ahead of us so i am kind of glad that i now put my goal kind of moving into next year for querying and getting readers and stuff like that because i think there's a lot of work ahead of me more so than when i started this draft like i thought it was going to be relatively clean and up until like chapter 10 it was clean and there was more things i just had to expand upon and whatnot but now now we gotta rewrite and and edit things so a lot of it looks like i'm gonna be just shifting this but i i'm gonna have to play tetris with these chapters because these chapters like chapter 13 probably chapter 14 need to come later but i need to start planting doubt now so like we got her to trust him a little bit and now she doesn't want to leave he's gonna give his background a little bit more but like he's not gonna give her the full truth he's gonna start twisting the truth and we have like a character that i somewhat introduced like she saw a flash of him i need to bring him in a little bit more too so this book is gonna be tough moving forward because i want to get this cohesive now and i'm gonna have to do a lot of mental gymnastics on where all this is going so if i'm looking at my word count it is not technically changed <laughs> you know i'm still at like the fifty-five thousand mark from where i started with this draft but i'm literally like taking out the chunks that i need to save later so if there's anything i need to rewrite like i am just rewriting it and going forward i have i always save my documents in two separate drafts so i have version one version two draft one draft two kind of thing so if I ever need to like copy and paste something from a previous draft I have that draft saved so I'm not like too worried but then I have a second document that I created where it's like whatever I have currently so I can keep track of where I have things I'm like making notes of like previous chapter 13 previous chapter 11 whatever and I'm putting them in a separate document so ideally when it comes time to get that scene back, I can literally just copy and paste that and move it back into the document. So while my word count isn't shifting, 
I have like 6,000 words in that separate document right now of things I'm going to bring back into the book. So I should be like 62,000 words, which is great because my goal is to hit like 90,000 with this draft. So I think I'm doing good as far as adding words and, and making things cohesive, but it's a lot of work at the end of the day. So we, we made it though. We finally powered through and got through chapter 12. We ended up going through chapter 13. And once I sit down and write, I'm having a good time. It's just, uh, it's, this is difficult. It's difficult for my brain to really conceive how I need to shift things around because this is not something I've done before where I've written things too quickly. <laughs> so, you know, with every book we write, we find things that are challenging us. And this is my challenge now is how to make sure I put the pieces in the proper places. So challenge accepted. To end the vlog, I actually wanted to end on a really cool note, really great note maybe, it depends on how you look at it. But I brought you guys along with doing my query letter contest. So I mentioned earlier in this vlog that my query is going to the next round. I am a semi-finalist, which is awesome. I don't know how many people entered, but it is really cool just to be a semi-finalist. And then they actually sent our query feedback to us. So I will say, I feel a little misled because I thought it was going to be individualized feedback where like they go through and say like what works or like, you know, they give you actually edits. However, they did a, a query letter rubric instead. So it's still beneficial, but I, I thought it was going to be a little bit more personalized. Still, the rubric got me really excited. So I obviously have I felt very proud of this query letter and I was really hopeful that it was one of the best ones I wrote you know just because people on reddit say it was good doesn't mean that it is but considering that two authors looked at this who have agents and who have been through the process and gave me a 66 out of 70 possible points like my mind was blown so I did really well and I would let you know what, how like the score breaks down, but the parts that matter to me the most all got 10 points, you know? So I got a 10 out of 10 in the hook and opening line, story summary and plot description, character introduction, marketability, which is big, tone and voice, and overall presentation and clarity. So six out of the seven categories, I got 10 out of 10. The only thing that got me points down and I got a six out of 10 was my author bio and credentials, which is absolutely fine with me because that was the part that I only put one single line in about myself because I had only 300 words to do and could not fit any more information about myself in. So I only said where I was published before my short fiction. And that was okay with me at the end of the day. I know that I could make it more beefier and I would if I was actually querying, but they basically just said, you know, like the bio is included and relevant, but may need some more refinement or specificity. So I got six out of 10 and it's right. Like I didn't, I didn't get to include my background. Like I didn't get to include that I have a master's in psychology and then I'm a counselor and that like, I love writing, you know, dark and fantasy stories in my spare time or anything like that. Like I didn't get to show who I was, which I knew going in. I, like I said, I really only did one line and that line was, my short fiction has appeared in havoc in the Stygian society. <laughs> like it was so bare bones. I know that was. So like if I had just a little bit more words, like if this was like 400 words, there's a possibility I would have had a perfect score, which is kind of crazy. But like 66 out of 70 points is like insane. I literally like screamed. I got so excited. My husband was like, what's wrong with you? And I'm like, it's good now. <laughs> so yeah, I was really, really excited. I don't know what this means. I don't know how other people scored, obviously. I only know my score, but I, I am just, I feel very bolstered by that score. Like that makes me like, you know, I, I did something well. <laughs> so, and it makes me happy. This is the third book that I've written a query letter for, and it is like the most exciting one to date, I guess. So that's where we're at. So yeah, I won't know now where my standing is until October 30th. So we still have eight more days till the finalists are announced and the finalists are top 10. So that'll be 15 people are being cut. And the judges for this, so it is Mary Weber and CJ Redwine who judged this contest and gave us the feedback. Then it goes to Marissa Myers and Jody Meadows. So 
Jody and Marissa are now currently reading all of these ones and collecting feedback. So I will say like it's kind of blind. I don't know if they get this feedback from the previous authors, but at the end of the day, still pretty solid that like two really well-known authors are now reading my query letter and judging me. So that's fun. But yeah, so that's where we're at guys. So thanks for coming along with this journey for this last two weeks. I'm excited to see where it goes. And of course, I'll keep you guys updated. So let me know how your weeks have been going. How has your writing been going? And has anything fun or interesting happened to you? So that's all for me. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.